Do you ever feel like you've been brainwashed? Like that time you went into the shop because you fancied a banana and you came out with half a dozen donuts. Oh no, that was me. Subliminal messaging, yes. That's my excuse and I am sticking to it. Subliminal messaging is defined as information that has been conveyed in such a way as to be below the threshold of your conscious perception. In other words, images, text, sounds presented as stimuli, but we aren't actively aware of them. The theory goes that even if we don't consciously notice these stimuli, our unconscious mind registers them and is persuaded, even coerced, into acting on them, doing things we wouldn't ordinarily think to do. This obviously sounds pretty worrying, sitting right next to mind control on the list of things that could call for a tinfoil hat. So it's natural for us to be suspicious, but is there any truth to the rumours? Can my unconscious mind be so easily manipulated? And is it enough to hold my conscious mind to ransom? The idea of subliminal visual messaging goes back over 60 years. In 1957, a scientist called James Vickery made a bold and unexpected announcement. He claimed to have flashed the phrases, drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn repeatedly during a movie without them being noticed by cinema goers. The flashes were produced by an instrument called a tachyscoscope and lasted just a few milliseconds, much shorter than the 13 milliseconds that our brains need to consciously perceive an image. Following this, Vickery claimed that popcorn sales increased by 18.1% while Coke flew out of the door 57.7% faster. This, he said, was astonishing proof that subliminal advertising worked and he predicted a prosperous future for mind control marketing. But, as you might imagine, people don't really like having their minds messed with and Vickery's announcement prompted public outcry. In response to this, US and UK governments put an outright ban on subliminal advertising, a ban that's still in effect today. And it put a bit of a downer on Vickery's plans of world domination by subliminal mind control. But here's the thing, scientific findings need cold hard data to support them, right? When journalists and scientists asked Vickery for his data, or even for a record of how the experiment was actually carried out, amazingly, they came away empty handed. Plus, when they tried to replicate the experiment, they found no significant effects whatsoever. Suspicion grew until, in 1962, Vickery was forced to announce that his supposed findings hadn't actually been supported by any scientific evidence at all. It all seems to be nothing more than an elaborate PR stunt. And what a stunt it was. Stemming from the panic from this so-called study, the subliminal conspiracy was born. Whether it's hidden images in well-known logos or demonic messages concealed in pop songs, the theories about subliminal messaging in popular culture are boundless. But they are just theories and poorly supported ones at that. Let's take a common one, backmasking, where persuasive messages have been put into music only revealed when the track is played backwards. The thing is, a study into this phenomenon in the 80s showed that such messages owe their existence to active construction on the listener's part. In other words, you can hear pretty much anything you want to if you try hard enough. That's hardly a candidate for major mind control. Let's be fair though, it's not all bad news for the subliminal seed. Recently, scientists from Utrecht University in the Netherlands have revisited the idea of fleeting messages as a tool of persuasion. This time, they performed the experiment under controlled conditions and actually found that subliminal coercion could have some effects. In a lab setting, they showed that quick flashes of a given drinks brand could persuade participants to buy that brand over another, but only if people were already thirsty and were already familiar with the brand, but not too familiar. Oh, and the effects of the persuasion were very short-lived. However, when BBC Radio 4 repeated the experiment outside the lab in a radio studio, they saw no significant preference for the drinks brand at all. So, positive results, but not very practical ones. Simply put, subliminal messaging has no real power to influence our actions after all. 
Time to put away the tinfoil hat. Neatly though, you know, you don't want to crinkle it. In actual fact, if you really want to convince someone, you don't need to go to all the effort of encoding your message in millisecond bursts. While we are all worrying about being secretly brainwashed, the advertising industry has found another, more overt way to hijack our unconscious minds. An entire field of research is dedicated to it. It's called consumer neuroscience or neuromarketing. Its primary purpose is to sell you stuff. In the modern world, we're pretty much surrounded by advertising. And you may be surprised at just how manipulative it can be. From placing premium products at eye level to tugging on our emotions with a Christmas ad, these approaches have been scientifically proven to pique our subconscious interest. Scientists have used complex electroencephalograms and galvanic skin response techniques to reveal the persuasive power of all sorts of obscure marketing tools, from the abstract floaty dresses of perfume ads to the sublime selling power of a runny egg. So, while we may think of ourselves as free-willed and self-aware, could it be that we are just confused apes in the thrall of our subconscious minds? And without any effort to remain hidden, successful subliminal stimuli may have been right in front of our eyes all along. But did you spot our hidden message in this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, click the little bell and you'll be notified whenever a new Earth Lab video is uploaded. See you next time.